All right, hey everybody, we're doing a new Let's Play, and you could tell it's Dark Watch. And I have to ask, can you feel the edginess from that symbol, from that logo? <laughs> oh, Dark Watch. It's a game that I didn't play when I was young, even though it's from like 2004 or 5, because... Sorry about that, it does that old game thing of where it shows you what you're going to be playing before you get to the menu. For some reason, games did that. Don't know why they did that, but they did. Yeah, this is Dark Watch. It was a very edgy game from the uh, early 2000s, during that era when there was a lot of edgy games. When games were just edgy. It was like 1997, I would say, through like 2012, 2013. Maybe, like, how about that? Just gonna keep doing that. That games were edgy. Like, it, w it was the culture of the time. <laughs> Back when things were better. Back when games were better. <laughs> When we had actual good games. I have to say, that logo, it, it's so edgy. It's the Punisher logo with vampire teeth. Like, let's get into it. Oh, I do. Hopefully everything's recording right. Because I did try recording this before. And, um... I had the sound in wrong, so it was only coming out mono. I hope it's not coming out mono now. Shouldn't be. But I have to say, like, whoever designed component cables, I have a word with them. Because why did they make one of the video things for component red? That's the same as the audio. That's why I was recording in mono. Because if you if you don't know about component, all right, this was what what there was before HDMI. There was also S-Video, but Component com is composed of three different colors. Red, blue, and green. Composite was also had a red. It also had a red. It was red, red and white for audio, which you still use for Component. You still use Composite, the Composite audio for Component, but the yellow is... You don't use yellow, because that was the video for... Um, composite. So I had the one of the video things shoved into the audio port because they're both red. That's why we're recording mono. And yeah, Jericho. The name Jericho. That's the character's main name. And that was a very kind of edge lord name back then. For some reason, a lot of things use the name Jericho. A lot of things with J. So it's gonna. We're gonna use the shorter version of it, just Jericho, which is another kind of. Edgy name from back then. Increase sensitivity to seven. Uh, yep, that's good. Yes. Yeah, just this the whole culture back then of like, it's like, because you had multiple cultures that were all very similar. You had goth, punk, scene, emo, vamp, alt. Anything else? Probably a bunch of different things. And, and this plays off of the goth a lot. The goth cowboy. Which was also like a subculture which kind of stemmed from Johnny Cash if you think about it. Because he was the man in black. And a cowboy. Or like western. Yeah, let's get into Dark Watch. This game is a lot. This game's weird. Alright? Like... I'm gonna say something, and some of you young kids today are probably gonna be confused. This is a Halo clone. Yep, this this is a Halo clone. And that's gonna surprise you, but it is. Let's go single player. Uh, yeah. Does the old thing of where the difficulty of the symbol changes. We're just gonna go on Cowboy. You are Jericho Cross, gunslinger, renegade, outlaw. Behind you, a bloody trail of robbery and revenge. Ahead of you, one last train to rob. Tonight, your life will end. And your legend will begin.
so speaking about the original Xbox, I did not have an original Xbox. I had a PlayStation 2. However, and this was really cool at the time, I went to the pre-launch event for the original Xbox. Or maybe it was a launch event. I, all I remember is down in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, next to the Science Center, they set up this ginormous black tent. Like... And inside of there, it was really dark, but had these, they had these stations for each, for like, they had like Xboxes set up. I remember it was so cool. I don't remember what game I played. But I remember it was really hot in there. It was extremely hot because I believe it was in summer. Or I think it might have been, I don't remember. I just remember it being really hot in this tent because it was black. All black, it was dark, it was really hot. I don't think there was any air conditioning. And... I went with my friend, well, former friend now, because I haven't talked to him in probably decades. I don't actually remember last time I talked to him. But yeah, I remember there was a rumor going around in the tent that the Xboxes were getting so hot that they were melting um, the CDs, the discs. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Yeah, this is a kind of a late original Xbox game. This, I think, this, I'm pretty sure this is from like 2005. 2004, so it's really late to be an original Xbox game. That's probably why it is backwards compatible, uh, right? It's backwards compatible on the Xbox 360. Why it's not on the Xbox One, I don't know. Oh, it's dark. It is very dark on my screen. That is not good. Yes, and another reason that I've been playing this, besides just wanting to relive, not really nostalgia, because I didn't have this game, but, like, I saw a game on Steam that's in early access right now, but I swear it's a spiritual successor to this. I swear it is. It's called Blood... I think it's called Blood West. Blood West. I was like, it It looks so similar, the styling, that I, I swear it, it can't not be a spiritual successor in some way. Hold on, let me adjust my TV's brightness. There, there's the clicker. Ah, oh, vivid mode. Now I can actually see. Yeah, that's the that's one of the problems with having a true black TV. And if you're wondering how I'm getting this in full screen and I'm not emulating it, is um, there's a trick you can do. If you play it, because we're actually, if you play it through component cables in 480p, it will actually you can actually uh, have it be full screened. That's why I'm using component instead of HDMI. Revolver, Colt Single Action Army. Yeah, no EDS, just hip fire, and then you got a really tall jump like Halo. Kind of a strange thing about this pistol is that it's only used on this mission. Yep, disgusting. I have to say, this is a really good looking original Xbox game. Like, this looks like a 360 game. I mean, it is a very late, you know. first encounter with the enemy. In this universe, a cult single action army is not more than enough to kill anything that moves. It's fairly weak, that's why you replace it fairly quickly.
Yep, and you replace it immediately. Like, and you get this super edgy revolver gun blade thing. I love the animations. It's really good animations in this game. Uh, this is basically like a P90 and a revolver combined. You'll see it when I start shooting it. And is there... Okay, no, there's no uh, subtitles, I'm sorry. There is apparently lore, but this is not lore. It's just tents that tell you how to do things. But apparently that's lore. Why they chose to name it lore, I don't know. I told you, it's like a revolver and a P90 combined. Watch how you reload it. Oops. It's the reload button B. See? Or, I guess it would be more similar to a Bison. No ADS, though. Hold it right there. Take it easy, partner. You got no clue what you're into. There's no gold in that vault. How to hell with it? No! Sweet mercy! What have you done? Eh, bullets aren't affecting him. You can see, six shots, not more than enough to kill anything that moves in this universe. <laughs> God, look how edgy that is. I'd love to have, like, that symbol, like, made out of steel just mounted on the wall. It's such a good symbol. You know, this game was also gonna have a movie made, uh, uh, about it. Is that crazy? It's supposed to have a sequel, but, uh, hey, guess what? Oh. You're bleeding pretty bad. Can you move? Those blood clouds will heal you. Alright, I recognize that voice actress. I'm pretty sure that's Laura Bailey. I don't know though, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. Um, if you don't know who made this, uh, it's High Moon Studios. Can you guess what happened to them? It's very similar to what happened to Raven Software. They both got bought by Activision. They made a couple games after, you know, after that. And now they're just Call of Duty, you know, help with Call of Duty. That's all they do now. But even though both of them made really good games, like Dark Watch is really good, and then... Uh, High Moon made really good Transformers games, and unfortunately, you know, Activision kind of just effed them over. Maybe Microsoft will fix things. Maybe. You're feasting on blood. You're turning into a vampire. Yeah, Vamp Squad. The war is over. The Dark Watch will be destroyed.
<laughs> my friends call me Cassidy Sharp, but you can call me Boss. Watch my back if you want to live. Ride as good as you shoot. What is it? It's Lazarus's curse, Jericho. There's nothing you could have done. It's not your fault. This game is fairly difficult, if I remember correctly. Let's see if I can... Like this, I remember this part being difficult, because um, when I first played through this for the All Weapons video, I remember I was having trouble with this, but I think I played on the harder difficulty. For some reason, um, the game keeps showing his uh, Colt Singlection army in the cutscenes, but you don't use it anymore. There's no aim assist, so... Pretty neat. Hmm. I hope this game doesn't have copyright stuff in it, because like old games do a lot. Let's we'll see. Blood shield, see? Shield, just like Halo. Oh hell, here comes Lazarus! Yes! Flee! I love the hunt! Alright. Time to try and kill Lazarus. Oh, I actually got him. Keep going. We're almost there. Yeah, so you don't actually want to hold down the wheel over here. You actually just want to keep uh, pressing it. That edgy line. <laughs> Ditch your horse. We have to cross the cemetery on foot. 
Oh, I can't kill you. I have to, I have a, you have a role to play in my grand scheme. <laughs> There's a hidden passageway in the church. It leads to small mining tunnels under the mountains. It's a long walk, but it's the fastest way to the Dark Watch outpost. Let's get going. Your eyes glowing. We've got to get you to the Dark Watch before the curse consumes you. New power. To activate blood vision. Oh, that's, that's actually how you how you aim. It's not actually aiming. It's like you know the old style, just zoom the screen in. And look how edgy this like <laughs> just look at this lever action. Giant cross as the uh, as the hammer. I wonder. I wonder how hard it would be to like make a lever action into this. You think it would be? You think it would be hard? I wonder. You'd have to wonder if you do it out, out of a uh, Winchester or a Marlin style. It'd have to be Winchester because it's top eject. Yeah. Pretty. All right. Dynamite. Hold on. Just my headset there. Not what I want. Gunslingers! Look out! They can shoot back! Stick him with the crossbow. That'll shake him up. Go. <laughs> Got them both at once. Like, look how good that reload is. Alright. Okay, I think I fixed the problem. I love how the enemies actually react to what you're shooting them with. Oh yeah, this game, for some reason, has leaning. You can lean in this game. Why? I don't know. Break his curse if this door's gonna open. More of them! 
I need a new gun. I know how to get rid of these real quick. You can destroy his marks. Yep, he used the pistol. Oh, hi, look out! I knew another one was gonna be up There's there. Another. I'll meet you on the other side. Too dark for you. And he, and we're gonna get our next weapon. Oop. Yeah, we're gonna get our next weapon soon. You get all of them very fairly quickly. There's actually a lot of weapons in this game. You can go watch my all weapons video. There it is, the edgy shotgun. Look at it. It's got a giant blade stock that will, like, actually hurt if you had made this in real life and you'd probably cut off your arm. There we go. It's a double barrel pump action. Look, you got a giant cross on it and, uh... And the... The barrels twist for some reason. Come on. It's a good shotgun. Another new enemy. I love the ragdoll. New enemy. I'm not pausing the voice here. Double tap Y to do vampire jump.
checkpoint. New enemy should be coming up. There she is. Might not be the best idea, that's pretty far range. You can actually cut their limbs off. See, you can, you can cut their limbs off. Oh. oh, that's neat. I didn't know it. Never hit one went out you could still click for the hammers. Is that everything? Oh, sorry about that. I had tried muting it. Alright, sorry about that. I try I tried reaching for the mute button. I'll I'll, I'll lower the sound in editing. Hello? I need a gun. Anybody here have ammo? No? Oh, I got Redeemer ammo. Yeah, super edgy names for guns. Love it. Oh. Ah, I have no arms. You shoot them off. The pistol's really good. This is this is like a really good pistol. And it's not, and it's the first pistol. There's more pistols in this game. The loading times aren't even bad. Like it, it, this was High Moon's first game. This was the first game they made. I want you to think about that. That is, it's crazy how good a company's first game is. However, I will tell you, this game does have a uh, feature bloat a bit, which, is, it, which makes it really interesting. You'll see. Oh, how do I... Ooh. Hello. Ah. No. No. Eh. Well, I got the ammo, at least. Oh, there, dead man. Slice you. God, that's cool. You're gonna see me doing this a lot during this Let's Play. Guns. There are more, uh, second shells. If you're wondering why melee is so good in this game, uh, you'll learn later. Probably during this episode. Yeah, 
guess what? This game has moral choices. You can be good or evil. For some reason. What should we do? We're going to be good this run. Because, guess what? There's a skill tree system. And, if, so, if you want gun, if you want to be ranged, you go good. If you want to be melee, you go evil. See, look, it's like blood adds to boost your damage to deal in hand-to-hand -to -hand -to -hand combat. And then, the second one here, turns the enemies into slaves, which is kind of neat. Uh, I, I will say that's better than fear of having them just run away. Then you have Mystic Armor. Alright, versus Black Shroud. Um, I don't know. I kind of like the armor more than this. This is just an AoE that's kind of bad. I think it's kind of bad, if I remember. Yeah, then you got Chain Lightning. You you, you can do Chain Lightning, lightning which I, for, I think I forgot to show in the All Weapons video. And this, Soul Stealer. Which is more vampire than... Why would, why would a vampire have uh, Chain Lightning? I don't know, it's kind of funny. Summon the power. Okay. Make the shotgun even better. back. She's got great tracks of land. Oh, more of them. Where'd you go? Ah, uh, went all the way through. Oh, I'm gonna switch weapons. Alright, and now we're gonna see Shit my so much shotgun ammo, but I know what's coming up. Yeah, new enemy. Corpse explodes. Um, I keep pressing buttons by accident, sorry. Look at that. <laughs> Jericho, this way! This passage goes under the mountain. <laughs> Jericho, what is it? The cross. The curse. It's taken hold. We've got to get you to the Dark Watch outpost. <laughs> you because you are weak you have been chosen in time you will know why until then you suffer all right lazarus is toying with us all right You must feed Jericho. Alright. Second moral choice already, which is kind of weird. 
Uh, let's you do good. On her, Jericho. That's all she's good for. We're gonna do all good. Could really use some shock anyway. Yeah, double headshot. Well, it's been 41 minutes. How far should I go? I'll go an hour. Nothing. I am finished with this victim. Do with it what you will. Take its fleeting essence for yourself, or exorcise it with your laughable notions of purification. It will make no difference in the end. Yeah, you can like talk to us through it. Good, send the victim. Struggle if you must. It makes no difference. Your soul is mine. To toy with as I please. Be a really good skin for um, what was it? Hunt Showdown. <laughs> New guns already. Go down into darkness where you belong. They have really good texture. Ah. Yep, always use this pistol to clear it. There we go. You got these pistols. This double downward cleaver. They're smaller, but different. Yeah, they're different pistols. They're weird. Hey, Denver. Probably wanted me to use a dynamite, but like I said, it's better to use that, that first pistol because it shoots fast. Whee! Pew pew! Down we go. Alright, how I well, I said an hour. Let's do an hour. I think an hour is a good kinda like first thing to do, right? That guy doesn't look very dark watchy, you know? Why does he have a dark watch revolver? Is it just something anyone can buy, but you know it's expensive, you know? Like a lot of those weird eighteen hundreds revolvers that were good, but they weren't Colts, so they were expensive. Kind of like shotgun pistols, they don't really have much range. I go. Who's shooting? You. Okay. 
Dang it. I have a lot of health. How do I get up there? Can you like... Thank you. I'm guessing you jump on this. Come on. Oh yeah, I forgot you can double jump. And and hover. Ooh. Shotgun or double pistols? Let's go with double pistols because they're new. We use the shotgun a lot. There we go. And they all come rushing through, obvious. <laughs> oh, hello. That noise is kind of a annoying. Hello? Where did you come from? So how fast do they shoot? I want, I want to unload on them. Eh. Basically machine guns. What you're supposed to do with them. You will never again see the light of day. Uh, shotgun. He wants me to use the shotgun. Yeah, because these are blowing through ammo. I'm going to switch to the carbine. Oh, boss monster? Oh, nope. New enemy. Guys with TNT. Oh, up there. Ah, oh, messed that jump up. No. Now you see where the halo comes in? The jumping next? Like, just the... Aha! Save that guy. Going full good. You kind of always want to go full good and not like partial. No. There we go. Fifty one minutes. I said an hour. So. Use 
TNT punches through the reinforced door. Hello. Fairly difficult, if I remember. Hey, another guy say. strong. Oh, I'm almost dead. Ah, uh, where's the last one? Maybe it's in there. They're just responding in the same spots. Game, where's the last one? I gotta be missing something. Here. Ah, it's just crystals. Yep, it was over there. Almost dead. Uh, well, that was difficult. This game is hard. Like, remember, we're not on hard. We're just on the second difficulty, so normal. It's, it's a very difficult game. And I love it. Like, I'm kind of sad we didn't get this when I was young. And I, and I played a lot of PS2. Oh, it wasn't on PS2. It was an original Xbox. I, I don't have an original Xbox. So a lot of the... um. Original Xbox games do work on the 360, however, there's some I want to play that don't. Like, uh, the Fiddler's Green, like a zombie, it's like a zombie apocalypse game that doesn't work on 360. 
Also, some games don't work perfectly on the 360. Like, this one does have some problems. If you can't tell, I'm stalling for time, because we still got a couple minutes to an hour. Three minutes, so two minutes. Hello. Get out of here. the shotgun. I don't know if my jamma though. I always say we for some reason. Why? Why is that? Anyone, any psychologist know I always say we? Like it's multiple of us playing this game? Oh, there was a graphical glitch. I'm gonna say that's because of the 360. I could get it in time. Maybe I should throw him down and might add it. Well, it's been you know, nine fifty nine minutes, I say an hour, so tell me what you're thinking of the game so far. I love it. And I, I like I said, I swear that there's a game called Blood West coming out. It's on Steam. I'm gonna make sure. I put it in the description. Alright? Come on, I reach an hour, five seconds. 57, 50, but I, I love just the edginess of this game. I love how it, you know, for this for a company's first game, this is their first game, and it's amazing. And they never made anything like it again. Why? Oh, I can tell you why Activision was like, no. It's competing with, you know, I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna bet. Activision was doing a Winchester. If you didn't know, back in the 1800s, with this set, Winchester, in order to eliminate competition, instead they would just buy out smaller companies who were going to compete with them, and then just shut them down, basically. They did this several times. I'm wondering if Activision, that was Activision's plan. You know, oh, you're going to compete with Call of Duty. Uh, shut them down, you know? And now look, High Moon is just a Call of Duty company. All they do is help with Call of Duty. They don't even get to make their own, like Raven Software. You know, like, look, let's let Raven Software or, 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 you know, do their own thing or High Moon. Have them both work together. I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna end it here. See everybody later. <laughs>